Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids, and just a couple of days ago, you would have seen my video telling you about the new Magic Trackpad that Apple launched. Well, I've managed to get hold of one fairly quickly for you, just a couple of days later. I'm going to show you what you get inside the box and give you a quick overview. Please do keep checking on the Geekanoids channel though, because in a few days, I will be giving you a full review of this product. So let's get the packaging open. This is a little tiny trackpad, looks really nice. And the idea of this is that you're going to be able to bring multi-touch uh, use to your desktop computer. And here it is, beautifully presented. So we've got the trackpad itself. So we're gonna take a closer look at this in a short while. Let's just see if we get anything else inside the packaging. Well, we get some paperwork down here. Let's have a look and see what this says. We have got some instructions, giving you an introduction and quick start about using your Apple trackpad and installing the batteries, etc. We've also got some Bluetooth uh, regulatory certification and also some warranty information. So let's unwrap the trackpad itself. It's telling you here that you need uh, Mac OS 10.6.4 as a minimum and also the Magic Trackpad software update. You need to download a little bit of software. Really nice looking product. Pop this package into one side. Now the styling of this is much the same as Apple's Bluetooth wireless keyboard. So it's going to be the same depth from back to front there. Very, very thin, as you can see from the profile there. And here, we've got the power on off button. And then round on this side, we've got the uh, little receptacle here, which you're gonna unscrew to gain access to the batteries. Now, there's also been talk about this clicking, which if I just stop talking and press these in, you can hear it do an actual physical click. And the idea behind this is when it's placed on your desk, you're gonna be scrolling around doing various gestures on it with either one, two, three, or four fingers. And then you can also actually do a physical click and it actually pushes the whole trackpad down onto those little tiny feet underneath. Now I haven't got a Bluetooth wireless keyboard here at the moment. I'm gonna show you this next to a standard keyboard. This is Apple's normal wired keyboard. And the actual depth of it, if you exclude the battery compartment, is roughly the same depth as a normal keyboard. The angle is perfect, so it does match either the wireless keyboard or the wired one. This is the one with, with a wire connected, as you can see here. So a perfect angle to match a normal keyboard as well. Now it supports lots of different uh, gestures on here. You can do screen zoom with two fingers. You can do a double click in the center of the trackpad. You can do a right click by clicking with two fingers. You can also click and drag, so really, really useful. You can also do those three finger gestures and also the four finger gestures, and you can also do pinch in to zoom in and out on photos. So lots of gestures supported. One I forgot to mention is obviously the rotate, so you can rotate photos around. But I'll show you more about these when I actually do my full review of the product. So I hope you enjoyed that. This was my overview and unboxing of the Apple Magic Trackpad. Please do check back on the Geek and Noise channel in a few days where I'll be bringing you a full review of this product. This video is sponsored by MyMemory.com. For great prices, fast delivery and reliable customer support, visit MyMemory.com.